Hello everyone. So today, let us uh, start using uh, Org Room. And uh, in the previous video, I talked about uh, how you can uh, install it. Installing it uh, is of course uh, not at all uh, complicated. It is just a matter of uh, uh, installing the package and uh, making a very slight change in your uh, Emacs init file. Now, once you install it, you can of course start using it and uh, uh, if you're using uh, org mode already, then what you can do is you can actually use this mode called uh, org room mode. So let us say uh, if you want to switch the mode, you can just type in uh, uh, meta x, which is uh, in my case alt x, or it could be escape x if you're on Mac, I believe, but you, you can change it. But when you do uh, this uh, meta x, then uh, you can type in uh, org room mode which is already uh, the mode in my case because uh, now it has actually disabled it. So let me just uh, enable it uh, one more time. So you can actually manually enable it or disable it if you want to by simply typing uh, org room mode. Now, because org room, the, the idea behind org room is based on of course what I have gathered so far is that you can actually have um, a lot of nodes and you can organize those nodes and those nodes can be uh, notes, notes can be organized and can be linked, interlinked with each other. So I believe org roam maintains its own internal cache to quickly, I believe, search uh, those uh, nodes. And there is one uh, one uh, command that you can run, org roam db build cache. So let us do that. So if I type in, oh, I think I did some mistake here. Okay, so let us run this. So org roam db build cache. Okay, so if you run this, it will actually uh, do something. I mean, right now I have 12 files and it will show you uh, files modified and few other things which I am still trying to understand properly. But this is what you can do. But I believe uh, uh, if you want, you can also add this line. Like for example, if you don't really want to start the mode manually in your Emacs, in your Emacs init file, you can add this line where, uh, uh, where basically you're trying to tell Emacs that please start org roam mode uh, when you start Emacs. And that is it to be honest. So once you do that, you can of course start using um, org roam. And uh, there are a couple of ways to, so basically when you are using org roam, you have to basically create a new node. Now a new node is nothing but a simple org file. And the idea is that you have multiple org uh, roam nodes. And to create a new node, you can actually do a couple of things. Uh, so I was actually reading the documentation and uh, I will tell you, uh, so there are more than one way, uh, more than two ways to raise, I believe there are like many ways, but I have settled for one specific uh, command, but to create a simple note, you can do org roam and then you can type in uh, find file. And if you enter, uh, if you press enter, you can actually see that you have the option to either type in the file name. So you can do that or you can actually press tab and it will give you a list of all the notes that you may already have. Like right now I have notes like new note, new note with title and a second note, blah, blah, blah. So let us open one note. So if I open fourth, can I open fourth note? Yeah, I can open fourth note. So this is my note. And when you're within your note and the thing is that if you're using that org roam find file, it will open the note and uh, you can save it and you can then close the buffer like usually like like I have like control X K to kill the buffer and and you're back to the original buffer. And when you do that, you can, you can actually see here that uh, if you go to your uh, org roam directory. So remember, we made one directory called org uh, roam, you will find multiple files here that will of course, uh, these are nothing but different uh, nodes. Of course, you can open them if you want, like manually, or you can actually use that other command to open that. And uh, to create a new note, what I'll do is I'll probably go back to the to the original uh, document so I can refer to my note. So to create a new note, instead of finding the one, I mean, when you do find file, it will actually uh, find the find the note for you. But you can also do something like, uh, uh, let us say, demo. So if you type in this, it will actually create a new uh, new note for you. And you can do something like demo of org room and uh, and and you can of course have I mean I mean your actual content. This is my note. Now 
the way it works is if you type in uh, uh, let us say uh, i mean if you if you want to close the buffer you can do control x control x and then uh, i mean after saving it just do control x k so it is its own buffer now the good thing is that org chrome can actually also work like org capture so i use org capture by the way so let us say if i have to capture like i mean when you're working with org chrome or mode uh, you the i the idea the idea is that you can actually create a new node or org file immediately or not not even a file but maybe let us say you want to keep track of a task and you don't really want to go to a specific file so you, you can actually uh, press control c and then c again and it will give you these options like right now i have a couple of uh, templates like i can actually use a template called to do or tickler which is basically uh, basically anything that i do with to do and tickler it will go to a specific file and i can also write my journal if i want so i don't like 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 i have to like go to a specific folder of course it is the time consuming <clears throat> so this is of course org capture org roam can also work using uh, using this uh, concept so instead of uh, doing or roam find file if you do something like let us say you're working in this document and you have to maybe maybe you remember something or maybe you want to, you want to remember something or maybe you want to keep a quick note so you can do something like uh, and, and by the way right now i'm showing you the, these commands of course you can uh, bind them to shortcuts so let us do that let us uh, do something like uh, org so we, uh, earlier we did org roam find file now we'll do org roam capture so it is of course similar to org capture but the but there is a difference so if you press enter you can actually do the same thing let us say new uh, this is my new demo and uh, you can say here uh, uh, all looks good all looks good today and if you press control c and control c again it will actually uh, close this buffer and you're back to the original document so control c control c this is of course the same concept that you have in org capture and you're back to the original original document so you don't have to like worry about killing the buffer uh, but there are of course few few additional things i mean creating a note is one thing but you may want to also link two uh, notes together so there is something called as org roam uh, insert so let me show you how it works so let us say you have to uh, let us open the same document, uh, the, the, the same note that we just opened. So I'll do our ROM capture. I'll press enter. I can press tab to you know quickly take a look look at all the notes that I may have. By the way, so uh, the one that I want to maybe uh, open. Let, let us say uh, we'll open something called uh, called as. Uh, let us open this uh, open this another title. So this is one of the note that I have and by the way the good thing about uh, these notes is that you can have different titles like one I mean of course you have the main title which is of course new note created but if you do if you if you notice uh, we have these uh, aliases so basically you can have different uh, titles for the same document so I believe it will help you in searching and this is of course my my uh, my note right now I have like a link so the idea here is that you can actually connect these nodes together if you have to. So if, if you remember, we started from this buffer above where we were looking at the document, but then we opened this uh, uh, org room. I mean, we opened this node using org room capture. And uh, what I want to do is I want to maybe insert a new link to another node. So what I can do is I can do org room insert. So and when you do org room insert, it will again do something similar it will basically give you the list of options so you can actually link it to an existing file let us say you want to link it to let us say new i guess and press enter and you have this new link and if you do control c control o it will follow the link so on top you have the you have the do document open so this is something that you can always you know maybe modify this uh, note this linked note and you can uh, then uh, of course uh, save it and uh, you're, you, you can of course uh, go back to the original uh, original node and apart from of course linking it to an existing uh, to an existing uh, node you can also create a new node from this uh, uh, node so the idea is that you can create a new node you can link it to any other node then you can maybe also create a linked node on the fly so if we do org uh, roam insert one more time and if you do linked note 
uh, you can actually see here that we have a new file this is uh, a newly created linked node press ctrl c ctrl c again and you're back to the original load and if you do press if you, if you press ctrl c ctrl c again you're again back to the original document from where, where it all started so these are a few things that i thought i'll probably talk about today because i'm also as i mentioned before i'm also trying to understand how i can use our chrome uh, in my workflow i think so far i i can definitely see the value that it will add um i mean of course i have been using our capture for 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 a long time now i use it for capturing any new ideas but those ideas are going to a specific file and from that file i refile those uh, individual headers to uh to their destination L let us say if i have to remember something if i have that file open i will enter it in that file but that is not us usually the case you just want to capture something without worrying about opening the file so you can actually capture it using uh, that org capture which is of course uh, usually bound to the control cc like if i do here let me just uh, do you one more time one just to show you so let us say you're somewhere in the document if you do control control cc it will open this and you can do of course q to cancel it so the the concept is same but in this case it will create a separate file which i believe is recommended like one, each note will have its own file and uh, i'm of course trying to understand uh, uh so far i can definitely see the value because uh, you can easily link these documents together and when i have been using uh, emacs org mode for many years now but i'll be honest with you i never really, really although i use it for mostly note taking and i also use it for uh, keeping track of my to-do items i use it for publishing a blog but i don't really use my org mode uh, org files different headers that i have to uh, basically link different files together I, I i i really do that do that i mean I, I do link things like let us say if i have to create a hyperlink i do that but uh, i don't really link within our org mode i mean of course you can link to org mode files uh but i never really used uh i never really used it for you know interconnecting different ideas together which i believe uh, is uh, something that you can do very easily and effectively using a uh, org roam so i will continue my journey playing with the org roam and i will definitely let you guys know if uh, uh, if i can find something interesting that will that has worked or that i think will work for my workflow so far i can i can definitely see a lot of value and the reason i'm creating these the short simple videos is because uh, i think org mode and org roam both are wonderful uh, and they can solve a problem a big problem to be honest because usually if you have like for, for example i do a lot of writing i have i have written uh four i think four books i guess and i do uh i, I do a lot of work uh, where i have to write either code or i have to document something i have to basically make sure that everything is uh, stored somewhere uh and it is more about you know personal research or uh, personal knowledge base for me at least and i believe that is where uh, org mode i mean org mode and our room they are not i don't think they are for like collaborative uh, work it is more about uh, managing your own work and it is really good in it i think it is amazing uh, i'm personally i don't think i can live without org mode now i'm too much dependent on it i do a lot of my things uh, by relying on org mode but i think org room can def definitely fill those gaps where uh, i was struggling a bit to to basically make my life even more simpler and that is it that is all i want to talk about in this video i will definitely uh, share my journey and i will let you know what else i learned when it comes to using or or groom so let us end this video now thank you thank you very much for watching this bye bye